Hello everyone, welcome to Mtobis and Clowns Mathematics and Physical Science YouTube channel. Um, we've been away for quite some time, but uh, we are back. We're back now. And let me cut the story short. Today we're looking at the June 2024 Mathematics Paper 1 for Malanga, Grade 12 paper. And our focus is in question 6, which is uh, the topic under differential calculus. So in question 6.1, we're given a function f of x is equal to 2 minus 3x squared, and we have to determine f prime of x from first principles. Right, I'm just going to get straight to how to answer a question like this. Right, 6.1. We're given f of x is equal to 2 minus 3x squared. And to use first principles, we have to use the formula which comes from the formula sheet for f prime of x is equal to limit as, um, let me just double check it here, limit is h approaches 0. for f of x plus h minus f of x all over an h. The first thing to do here is to create an equation or a, well, yeah, it is an equation of f of x plus h, which then gives you your first marks. So you start by writing down your f of x plus h. Now this comes from this equation of f of x, which means wherever you see x, in this part, you substitute for x plus h. So in our case here, it's a 2 minus 3, where we had x, we now put x plus h, then we close down and we put the square. Then we will simplify our x plus h squared, this minus 3, open into a bracket x plus h, x plus h, then it's a 2 minus a 3, square bracket would do here now x squared plus xh plus xh plus h squared which is equal to 2 minus 3 x squared plus 2 xh plus h squared then this becomes a 2 minus uh, 3 times x squared is going to be negative or oh, negative 3 times x squared is going to be negative 3x squared uh, negative 3 times positive 2 is going to be negative 6x h minus 3h squared now we have a equation of f of x plus h to substitute in the formula of differentiating using first principles. All right, now we go back to that formula. Now we apply, we we'll substitute f of x or f prime of x is equal to the limit is h approaches 0. Now we have the equation of f of x plus h, so we just substitute it here as 2 minus 3x squared minus 6xh minus 3h squared. And minus that value of f of x, which was in brackets, 2 minus 3x squared. Let me close the brackets all over an h. I know my h looks like an L here. So it's all over an h. Okay. Now the limit as h approaches 0 of we will simplify what's in the bracket first. So we write down everything as 2 minus 3x squared minus 6xh minus 3h squared. Then it's a minus 2 plus 3x squared all over h. Then I'll group everything that is a like terms. For, ex for instance, 2 and 2 are numbers. And then there's this one with x squared and x squared. They are similar. Or like terms 
So we continue taking down the limits as h approaches zero and we'll take two minus two minus three x squared plus three x squared minus six x h minus three h squared all over an h. Right. When I say two minus two we get zero. Negative three x squared um this is zero. Negative three x squared plus three x squared is also a zero. So you either gonna write the zero or you carry through um with the remaining uh terms. So this will now become what? Limit as h approaches zero of the remaining is negative six xh minus three h squared all over an h. Now this is equals to limit as h approaches zero. Then here we can now factor out h. And when we factor out h we're left with negative six x minus three h all over an h. And these two are going to divide each other such that we're left with the limit as h approaches zero of negative six x minus three h. And now at this point you are now able to substitute h or apply the limit basically, of which this is equal to negative six x minus three multiply by zero which is equal to negative six x and that is your first derivative or f prime of x using first principles so if we go back to the question from the question paper there was a slight mistake in 6.2.1 and i'll rephrase the correction of this mistake. So in the in this question they said determine f prime of x equal to x to the power of four over two plus x to the power of zero minus pi t squared. So the correct um, way in which this question would have been asked would be to say uh, let me just write this down quickly six point two point one the correct phrasing of the question should have been determine f prime of x if f of x is equal to x to the power of 4 over 2 plus x to the power of 0 minus pi t squared. And then you would apply this rule of determining the first uh, what's our first version? the first derivative which says n x n minus one if the function f of x was x to the power of n the role of um, differentiating okay now let us do the first derivative so we're given f of x which is equal to x to the power of 4 over 2 plus x to the power of 0 minus pi t squared. And we want f prime of x, which is equal to 4 x to the power of 4 minus 1. Now we're applying the rule, which is all over 2 plus 0 times x to the power of 0 minus 1 minus 0 which is equal to then so this is 4 times an x which is equal to 4 divided by 2 is just a 2 x to the power of 3 plus a 0 minus a 0 which is then equal to 2 x to the power of 3 this one is a short one or was a short one then the other question says determine the um, dx of a 
negative 3x squared plus uh, the fifth root of x squared all over x squared, right? So a question like this requires one to solve in this way. 6.2.2. When they say dx and there's something in brackets, how I teach my learners is to say, um, if you still have dx, it means you haven't done the differentiation. Don't know if it makes sense. Meaning to say, if you still have this dx, you haven't done differentiation to the function that's inside the bracket. So, the first thing here we must look out, always look out for is make sure that your terms are not fractions or the expression is not fractions and there are no thirds. So you have to eliminate thirds and you have to eliminate fractions to avoid um, making mistakes. So we first simplify what's inside the brackets here. But we still keep this dx because we haven't done the differentiation or applied the rule of differentiation. Okay, now the first thing, I think it's splitting the, the fractions into negative 3x cubed over x squared plus a, we change the third into exponential form to become a x to the power of 2 over 5 all over x squared. Then dx. Now if you say negative 3x to the power of 3 over x squared, now you have to apply laws of exponents from height. 8, 9, 10, 11 to 12, of which is a dividing part of the same base is subtract the exponent. So 3 minus 2 is going to give us a 1. Therefore, we're left with negative 3x. Plus, when we also apply the same law of exponents, it says um, x, to the power, x to the power of 2 over 5 all over x to the power of 2. Now, this then becomes a x to the power of, because that's 2 over 5 minus 2, of which you get negative 8 over 5. Now, now we apply the rule of differentiation, which means we now have to drop, writing down that dx, capital letter dx, when we now apply. And when we apply, we're going to take negative 3, Multiply it with a 1, and it's x to the power of 1 minus 1 plus um, negative 8 over 5. Multiply it by 1, x to the power of negative 8 over 5 minus 1. Then this becomes a negative 3 times 1 because x to the power of 0 is 1, minus uh, 8 over 5, x to the power of, when we say negative 8 over 5 minus 1, that's the same as saying negative 8 over 5 minus 5 over 5, and then if you do the uh, simplification of that, you get the negative 13 over 5. So it's best if you just leave the answers in the simplified format so it's negative 3 minus 8 over 5 x to the power of negative 13 over 5 right almost at the last last question It says determine dy over dx if y is equal to um, 8x cubed minus 125 over 2x minus 5. Right. So we are looking for in 6.2.3, we're looking for dy over dx if y is equal to 8 
x cube minus 125 over 2x minus 5. All right. I did mention in the previous question that you can't do the differentiation or apply the rule of differentiation if you still have a fraction. So you must first simplify the fraction. So let's simplify the fraction. Y is equal to 8x cubed minus 125 over 2x minus 5. Well, if I looked at this, I saw the difference of 2 cubes, which is coming from 2x to the power of 3 minus a5 to the power of 3, whereby this is the first term a and the second term b according to grade, I think it's grade 10, um, rules of factorization for difference of cubes, such that this is 2x minus 5. Now we're going to follow a rule uh, that has been applied for factorization that says um, if you have a cube minus b cube, if you factorize this difference of two cubes. I'm going to take the first term a, subtract it with the second term b, and then you take the first term squared, so that's a squared, plus first term times second term, which is a times b, plus last term, which is b squared. Now we have to apply that here. Okay. So first term, it's 2x. Second term, that's 5. Let me close. We open a new bracket. First term squared is going to be a 4x squared. Uh, first term times second term is going to be 2x times 5, which is positive uh, 10x. And then last term squared is going to be uh, 5 squared, which is 25. Now that is all over 2x minus 5. I know I did not have bracket, but I'm just seeing that everything at the top has brackets. So we divide these two and then our y value is equals to 4x squared plus 10x plus 25. Okay, now we can determine dy over dx from our equation of y. So if you want dy over dx, now once you write this, you are applying the rule of differentiation, which means this is 4 times 2, x to the power of 2, minus 1, plus 10, times 1, x to the power of 1, minus 1, plus 0, since 25 is a the constant. Then final answer will give us an 8, x to the power of 1 plus 10 and that is our final answer so thank you for watching and uh thank you we've reached i think 450 subscribers please keep on liking sharing and see you in the next video good luck for your exams um, i know that uh, some have started or some are going to start but yeah we'll keep on trying and posting videos as soon as we finish making them. Thank you.